In primetime news this evening, investments coming to address root cause of violence in Jamaica. Fresh calls for BOJ to intervene as Jamaicans struggle to find functioning ATMs. And hospitals continue to buckle under the strain caused by motorcycle crashes. Good evening and welcome to primetime news. A special welcome to our viewers online on onespotmedia.com and on TVJ International in the Cayman Islands. I'm Giovanni Dennis. And I'm Kalisha Williams with a preview of what's to come in the financial week. Here's Javon Keyes. Well, Kalisha, we're going to be looking at a bit of aviation news this evening and Liat, and many people know now the current iteration of Liat will cease operations later this month. I'll have the details later on. And Jordan Fort is also here with a preview of what's to come in sports. Jordan. Oh, well, Gio, more reactions this evening or reactions this evening. Uh, to the statement put out by Cidela Marley that she has resigned, of course, as a global ambassador for the Reggae Girls and that the Bob and Rita Marley Foundations will cut funding towards Jamaica's women's program immediately. There's also discontent from Raymond Anderson's team towards the Electoral Committee uh, just a few days ahead of the JFF elections. I'll tell you all those details in Primetime Sports Friday. There's also sports commentary, E-Prime and weather in this newscast. But before the break, the feedback question. This evening we're asking, what's been your recent experience using automated telemachines in Jamaica? Now you can share comments online, facebook.com slash television Jamaica and post on X at TVJ News Center. Stay with us. Primetime News returns right after this break. 